that frozen lightning? Yep. Want a closer look? No. Be nice. Uh, okay, right. I'll just stop. Stop. That's some quality uh, craftsmanship. Uh, 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 Take this, you dirty pile of rocks. Uh, don't touch me. Wow, Sindri, harsh word. Not sure he'll recover. Shut up. You want my help or not? All right, all right. Sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? 
Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you no. That's not weird at all. think it means it means we should have stayed home let's head back the door's frozen maybe I can So what was your plan, anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is... Yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. 
Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. for one day. No way. We're so close. <sighs> oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Vesla, I wish it did. <gasps> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. I don't think I can break this. I need to find another you way sure around. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Hit the fire! Up. Get up! Please. Just keep going. Get up. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Rock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option. Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll...
Get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. that. See me now. He would lose it. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Trust her. Why won't you tell me? Come <laughs> on. 
I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. Yep! I got this, right? Yeah, I got this. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes! I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. <laughs> Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you! Thanks! I feel Hey, Freya! What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... 
Okay, yeah. Should probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. There's nothing. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Father, where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin. <clears throat> nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. 
what we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Tara's alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Svartalfheim. Impossible. The Nine Realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! <laughs> Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead, but I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. It's a good thing I like climbing. Amir, you're all right. How did it go? I'm starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Ah, uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh, I was thinking, and I uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Uh... I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be... standing back here. I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. Oh. I'll tell you on the way back. 
Come on. Ah! Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Really? Now? Good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well... You can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to... hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, 
Let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peen? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. Home with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Do better than the Seer who saw everything. Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me. He explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend.
And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Indrasil seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord. <laughs> uh, okay. Ready when you are, Father. Appreciate it. How can I help? He really did it. Tear really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Anything to do before we head out? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. <laughs> My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Raditz Hosker. The one you know as Raditz Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. 
I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Park off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole, activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. And the kid? This'll draw attention from your face, at least. Need something special? Feels like there was something else. Wait, are those... Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. 
Hitting the road or chewing the fat? There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. There goes nothing. Rocket on the left! Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Dear, do you know Ratatosker? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, He's easily the most dapper. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. 
Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Now, I have a what question. Else? Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithhog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Farewell for now, Master Kratos and Retinue. What do you think about fate? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere, or it ain't. Still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down. as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Arya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hide stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better now. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. <gasps> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. In pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but. The Dark Elves get on best they can.
Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Frost eyes. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no near chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. Living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And years ago, the song of the sands, he called it. Gone. Another victim of war. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that no. one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder. Oh, I didn't know it could do that.
came of Kavazir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa! Is that a bomb? We're the ones who bring the light. Atreus, focus! I hate Alpha! follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, Unfortunately you... for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. 
He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. works. Yes, I see now. The Twilight Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Go! 
here. They came across on light bridge. And now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Hmm. Lucky for us, wearing off violence doesn't mean we can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Shrine away. <laughs> Temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use alpine blight to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Understand these poems. Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. <sighs> oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back. Why they keep fighting? Dark Elves want the souls in the light left alone. 
the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sarah made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Why not simply hold it in place? Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes. Hey, that looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. There's gotta be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. It worked! Thanks, dear. My pleasure. Glad we explored. Oh no. I felt that one behind you. That's showing them. Back to it then. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprise. Esteem. Ah, 
I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Getting the hang of it. I've never seen a light out with so much control over the temple. That's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. Dark Elf King. He's in the light now, too. Mystic doesn't see it. There's twilight on the ground.
The light door blocking the chest is gone. Now we just need to find a way over there. Here they come. Do what you must. Maybe you can throw those back at him. Right side, it's coming. statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the castle, Crystals still make light bridges. Now the light helps wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. 
Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nords, nor do I wish to try. And here we go again. Behind you, brother! And here we go. Right! <laughs> 
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. You think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... And we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path. Must be a way to move this statue's twilight stone to get the right angle. 
Getting stuck on the wing. Over there.
Oh, I see it now. The wings are connected back here. time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's... unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svartlyoffer. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Do you still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Time. How stunning. Your father is indeed thorough. Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, innit?
I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Bro's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so conversation was difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elves came... I thought all the dark elves were... Dear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one.
Right there. Yeah, but there was a Nornier chest down here last time. <laughs> oh, if they moved it. <gasps> there it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Good fit. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. Did you, um, disinfect these? It's fine. I'll do it. Hey, Sindri. Wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck! The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. 
Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, Tyr. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied. Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin! We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win! Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs> Maybe you can throw this back at them! Behind your brother! <laughs> <laughs> 
He's okay. Focus, Andreas. This way. Oh, <laughs> 
Far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Oh! Hold on! Over here! You're chained! Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Yeah! <laughs> 
can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. <laughs> Here, we... Open the gateway, please. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the Barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. I suppose the desert will keep. Well, I hope Tears had enough time to uh, find its equilibrium or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Spectral squirrel business. You can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know that... <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Until our next encounter, then. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little thing. You're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind that way. But your eyes say everything. I haven't given up hope on you. Yeah. Oh. You really must. This vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel mm -hmm. always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, mm -hmm. please, mm -hmm. allow me to cook for you. You know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables! From out of the dirt! That just ain't right. Keep her 
sharp and she'll keep you alive. 